Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2017 and part 5 of Season 8 of Non-League to Legend with Borussia Dortmund. And today we have a German Cup quarter-final against Bayern Munich to look forward to. So, as I said, I was going to play a decent chunk of matches since the last episode, which was against Chelsea and I've done just that. Uh, we've won pretty much all of them. The only slip-up was a 3-0 defeat to Leverkusen. Uh, in between, I'm not going to go through all of the results because you know, the the mostly victories uh, and pretty good victories as well, even if I do say so myself. Uh, so the Bundesliga is looking like this: we're eight points clear at the moment of Bayern Munich in second, so that is looking good. Um, and going into the next few matches, hopefully we'll be able to do something. But I thought I'd show the the, the quarterfinal today because it is a big match for the the, the club and. Uh, Big news is that Zila has got injured. We've brought in some new players. We'll have a quick look at the transfer history. Uh, Vigel, uh, or Vigel, he's gone for 25.5 million. Let's see how Goethe's doing at Stoke. He's doing okay. Not brilliant, but he's gone for 25. Could up, be up to 34 million. And I think that was a good deal. For somebody that wasn't really a regular within the team, he's only made uh, six appearances this year for us. So, yeah, cash in now. Thiago also made his move to Villarreal uh, permanent. So, yeah, take that as you will. Uh, but we've brought in four players over January. Sergio Busquets has come in for 700k. Brought in this guy, Jose Fioli. Fioli. Um, from Atletico Mineiro uh, for 9.75 million. I think he'll be a good signing. Uh, we've also brought in Comicada, um, a 16-year-old, absolutely brilliant potential from Leverkusen. He's gone straight to the uh, Dortmund 2 team. We also brought in Jonatas Thiago uh, from Internacional uh, for £8 million as well. I'm hoping to find another Manta in there. Manta was very, very good. But he always seemed to get them a little bit cheaper from Brazil. I don't really know why, but uh, players that are worth a lot of money, you seem to find uh, quite cheap. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but you get what I'm trying to say. So we've got Edis Jahik in goal for his debut. He's never played a game before uh, for Dortmund. He's come through... Well, he hasn't actually joined... A couple of years ago before I joined the club so he's gonna get a, a reality check today against Bayern Munich we've got Schraff Duarte, Massimo and Guerrero in defense we've got Jerson Kovacic and Asensio in midfield with Del Ali starting behind uh, El Amrani and Ferrari so here we go it's gonna be a tough one I think against Bayern Munich we we have had a good record against them this season but um, I don't know, I have a bit of a funny feeling about today. But hopefully we're on camera, we're going to perform uh, and get through to the semi-final of the German Cup, which would be really, really good. I uh, kind of want to win that this season because it is going to be our last season at Dortmund. I know I said in the last episode, I hadn't really decided yet, but I, I have pretty much now. I think we are going to leave um, and just find a new club. I've, I've actually... Taking off all the other leagues around Europe, uh, I think we're gonna conclude this save with a with a bit of a, a long run in England, because since Gator we haven't done anything in England, so it'll be nice to go back, um, maybe try and get into the Premier League at some point. Guerrero has missed an absolute setter there, um, but I'm I'm happy to go down the leagues again. Maybe not a conference level, but League One, League Two, definitely. Um, I mean, ideally, I'd like to go back to Gateshead, I think. Uh, finish the job there. Try and get them up into the Premier League, if pos. Um, and that that would be a nice ending to the, the series. Um, but, you know, we've proved ourselves in Europe. We've shown that we can take a top team and... We just need to try and win the Champions League. Alessio Ferrari has just put us 1-0 up, though. Um, I don't know who got the assist, because I was busy rambling on while that move was happening, but Ferrari went to Ashraf, who passed it back to 
Ferrari and it was a bit of a fluky goal but he's got it uh, anyway and it's 1-0 to the mighty Borussia Dortmund that's into the middle here's Della Ali. oh dear Calabria Calabria on his own that sh should have been 1-1 that was pretty poor from um, Bayern Munich there oh duh. I meant to say do not be complacent and now we're going to go and lose, aren't we? 50 minutes gone. I'm kind of tempted to bring El Amrani off because he's been rubbish. Uh, so bring Moran on instead. But yeah, if you guys are still enjoying the series, make sure you leave a big like down below and leave your comments. You know, it's really nice to read a comment just saying, you know, keep up the good work or you know that you're enjoying the series because it, it does actually let us know a little bit more than a like does so um yeah if you could do that that would be absolutely brilliant we'll bring Busquets on and bring Fioli on as well so you guys can have a look at him um 15 minutes left we're, we're just looking pretty comfortable and uh, we've turned into the Bayern Munich of German football Ball as I, I I'm gonna hide. We shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Bayern Munich on level terms have gone 92nd minute equaliser. I can't believe this. I I still think we're meant to win the German Cup. To be quite honest with you, that that's ridiculous. Here's Asensio. <sighs> Very sad now. Because we we haven't won a penalty shootout in FM seventeen, I'm, I'm fairly sure. So here's Massimo, Sergio, Busquets, I think. Uh, we've got ten minutes to find a winner. Here's Asensio, photo Guerrero, Asensio. Now Sergio goes goes here. Guerrero and Ferrari puts it in the back of the net. And it is 2-1, Alessio Ferrari with a 114th minute goal. Guerrero with the assist. And that puts us 2-1 up. Surely that's going to be enough. Hopefully Bayern won't score again. Uh, we've got 30 seconds to hang on and they've let go of it. Oh, we got away with that one. We definitely got away. Asensio now, Morata. That's a foul. Are we going to take the free kick? We're not. It's full time. We're into the semi-finals. And surely that almost guarantees a German Cup victory. Dare I say it. Um, let's have a look at who's left in it. We've still got Stuttgart, Cologne, who um, have beat us twice this season already. Schalke. There's actually a lot of good teams left in it. Uh, so it's not all over yet. But... We've um, won the quarter-final, and if we do get through to the final, then you'll obviously see that at some point, but it won't be until the end of the season. I don't know when I'm going to come back next. Uh, if the Arsenal game's looking interesting, then we'll come back for the second leg. If not, I'll just play on until a suitable point and, uh, and update you guys. And I'm not really sure I'm going to show any more Bundesliga matches because... Um, we're looking pretty set in the Bundesliga at the moment. Eight points clear, but if that does change, then we'll obviously bring the Bundesliga back. But if you've enjoyed that, make sure that you leave a like down below. It really, really does help out the channel. <coughs> Pardon me. As I said before, um, make sure you, you, you comment down below that you're enjoying the series if you are. And a bit of feedback where you want to see this series going. Do you think it would be good if we went back to sort of lower league football? Uh, just let us know and yeah uh, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye